stay there for long. Police have already issued trespassing notifications. The people who were living near Second and Hazeldine packed up and left. Action 7 News reporter Aaron Hill shows us what happened. This is the third so called tent city to pop up near downtown in recent months. The first was on First Street near Iron. The second in the Borellis neighborhood. And the latest just a few blocks from the original site. There are four tents here. If we destroy them, it will not rid our city of homelessness. Homeless advocates say many of the original tent city residents took advantage of hotel vouchers given to them. But those vouchers have since run out and now people are back on the streets. We do not think that this is an ideal long term solution, but it is the only thing that was probable at the moment. Wednesday, Albuquerque police issued these criminal trespass notifications, telling campers to leave and not come back. Several people loaded up their belongings into pickup trucks and moved on. The city says there are plenty of beds open at shelters. These folks that decided to be out there are flatly refusing services. There is beds in our West Side shelter right now for them to stay at. But some say the shelters aren't a solution for many struggling with drug and alcohol problems. City officials say they'll continue to offer services to homeless campers and work on a long term solution. In downtown Albuquerque, Aaron Hilf, KOAT Action 7 News. The city says it will continue to crack down on any other camps that come along. More than a year after our school.